Open fire! Hey everyone, it's Peter Brown standing in for freelancer Don Sass for his review of World of Warcraft Legion. With the new Legion expansion for World of Warcraft, Blizzard continues its streak of delivering the best contemporary MMO mechanical design, but also radically alters the balance of power in Azeroth for the first time since 2010's Cataclysm. It's a gamble that pays off. Legion finds Azeroth's greatest existential threat, making its first return since Burning Crusade, with the titular Demonic Legion breathing down the necks of orcs and men alike. Although the Alliance and the Horde combine forces at the expansion's beginning to turn back the tide of this invasion, their attempts are crushed. You are then tasked with finding the Pillars of Creation, your only hope of closing the portals to the Twisting Nether. Unless you've invested in almost two decades worth of Warcraft lore, that all may sound confusing. Although purchasing Legion gives players a free character boost to level 100, the new starting level for the expansion, it's clear that Legion exists for WoW's core player base. It's fortunate then that the twists and major emotional beats of Legion will mean something to those players who have been with the game since its early days. Legion starts off with a couple impactful tragedies and doesn't pull any punches from there. Characters you've known since WoW's inception aren't safe. The demonic corruption of the Legion takes major lore heroes from the series' RTS days and turns them into tragic villains. By the end of the expansion's basic PvE content, you're given a first-hand look at the mana addiction that ruptured elven society and invited Legion to Azeroth in the first place. Our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. As destruction drew ever closer, a desperate choice was made. Whether stemming the corruption of the Emerald Dream in Valshara, uniting Torin tribes in High Mountain, or battling the resurgent Naga in Asuna, this expansion's new zones are built around straightforward goals. You rarely have to question why you must kill this or collect that, and the sense of busy work that WoW's basic quest can often engender is thankfully absent. You get to play a part in shaping not just the fight against the Legion, but new societies you discover as well. WoW has a rich lore behind it that isn't always integrated well into its gameplay, but Legion doesn't have that problem. The expansion's new class hall system also finds ways to integrate WoW's lore into the game in meaningful ways. Each class and subclass has its own artifact weapon that can be acquired at the beginning of the expansion, which levels throughout the rest of play, and odds are that veteran players are familiar with them already, adding to their innate appeal as legendary weapons. And it doesn't hurt that Legion's new zones are positively gorgeous. WoW is running a modified engine that's over a decade old, and while you can tell you're playing a game based on old tech, Legion displays newfound scale and color, working in broad but memorable aesthetic strokes. The Nordic cliff sides and towering sculptures of Stormheim bring a richness to the zone's hyperbolic Viking fantasy. Valshara is the heart of Azeroth's original world tree, and is a sprawling overrun forest teeming with both life and corruption. And Legion's final leveling zone, Suramar, is awash in a sea of psychedelic purples, oranges, and reds that speak to its place as the heart of the plague currently consuming Azeroth. The new class, the Demon Hunter, doesn't change things too much in terms of the game's traditional holy trinity of tank, healer, DPS, but it adds a new exciting wrinkle. Demon Hunters can double jump and glide across landscapes, and it gives them such a degree of mobility that all of the other classes feel sluggish and restrained in comparison. Few things in Legion prove to be more satisfying than avoiding a lengthy walk by just leaping off a cliff and diving to a new destination as massive demon wings sprout from your character's back. Legion also includes some of WoW's best non-heroic non-raid dungeon design in years. Almost from the start, dungeons require actual coordination and teamwork. Legion also offers a host of bosses with more complex movesets to manage and engagement types to tackle. Unfortunately, players who want to roll an alternate character or start WoW for the first time and experience it in its entirety have to play through the Burning Crusade and Lich King content, which just aren't half as smartly designed as WoW in its current incarnation. Blizzard keeps getting better at what it does, but six expansions in, it shouldn't feel like a chore to get to the best of WoW's content. We finish this now! Call in the gunship! Way ahead of you, sir! Transangulating our positions right now! <laughs> Get it! Get it! Oh, Lord! With Legion, it's hard to remember when WoW's narrative and questing were ever this strong before, and time will tell if Blizzard will serve up a healthy dose of new content to keep the expansion and game alive, or if it will suffer the fate of Warlords of Draenor. But right now, Blizzard has proven it can still craft an MMO experience as well as, if not better than, anyone else. 
There is something I must do first. 